Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to take a look at the Remove Object tool found in Topaz Photo AI. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully. The Remove Object tool is not new to Topaz Photo AI. However, I've never been happy with the results I've gotten by using it. Now, recently, I purchased a new computer. It's a Mac Studio with an M2 Ultra chip in it. I was using an Intel-based iMac computer. But the following year, Apple released their ARM-based computers, starting with the M1 chip. So my computer, after about five years, has really started to slow up. Now, I don't think you have this issue with really fast GPUs and CPUs in Windows machines. But as far as Macs, if you have an Intel-based Mac, you may notice you're getting slowdowns on some of this software. Now, Mac machines, unlike Windows machines, are not upgradable. So I can't really upgrade my iMac to the latest and greatest CPU or GPU. I'm stuck buying a new computer, which I've had for over five years. So I guess I can't complain, or can I? After I set up my new Mac Studio computer, I thought I need to give the Remove Object Tool a new try because what what if it was my Intel Mac that was the problem, which ran really slow with the remove object tool and the results were not that great, I must say. So I just gave up using it. Oh, well, it's a new day and a new computer. Let's dive into the remove object tool in Topaz Photo AI. And let's see what I was missing. Now, to get to the remove object tool, you have to come up to the right side of the interface and click on remove object. And now you'll notice the interface we have here. We have this uh, slider called speed quality. Now, if you drag this to the right for higher quality, the speed will be slower. And if you drag it to the left, you'll have a faster speed, but a lower quality. But the default setting is 25, and I feel that's a good place to start. And then you can alter it if you're not happy with the results. If you'll note, you can see I have a brush here. We have to brush this on, and we have a brush size slider. We could drag this to the right to make the brush larger, or to the left to make it smaller. Or you could use your left and right bracket keys to change brush size. And then if you'll look right here, we have paint erase. Right now I'm set up for painting with a plus. If you click on the minus, you'd be erasing. And you can also change the preview color of the brush size by clicking here. Change it to any color you like. I'm just gonna click cancel. You can change the opacity of the brush. Mine set at 50%. So we can go ahead and just paint on here. And we also have a clear selection because obviously I don't wanna paint here. So I'll click on clear selection and that goes away. And there's some Something else that we also have, and that is the brush settings drop down. If I click here and click on object selection, and then if I hover over an object, it'll find that object like that tree back there. For this image on this tree, I think I would need to actually paint this on. I think I'd have a hard time doing the object selection here. So I'm going to go back and change it to the regular brush. I'm going to go ahead and paint over all this tree and branches and I'll get right back to you and then we'll run this removal. And I am back. Now let's go ahead and click remove. I'm just going to let this run and we'll see how long it takes. And I'm at the default setting of speed quality 25. So it's still running. It should be done here very shortly. And we're just going to wait, and there it is. What do you think? It did a pretty darn good job. I'm pretty impressed with that. Let me go ahead and click this eye. This is before, and this is after. Overall, I think it's pretty good. I think it did a great job. Now, I'm looking at this area right here. I think I'm going to paint over this area right here. I want this to be dark. I'm going to paint right there, and let's click remove again. I went ahead and paused the video, and now I'm back. But I think it did a nice job. I just painted over that area. Here's the before and here's the after. Overall, I think it's done a really nice job. Now, once you're satisfied with the object removal, all you need to do is click right here, save changes, and that saves the changes. And then here is the remove layer right here. See, I can shut this layer off. Here's before and here's after. Then I could go ahead and continue to work in this image, upscale it, whatever I want to do, sharpen, denoise. And then I could click right here and do a quick export, or I could click export image and tell it to go back to the original folder, preserve the input format, click save. I'm not going to go ahead and do that, but I have one more image to show you. And that would be this image. Now, both of these images today were just stock images from Pexels. Now, we have this card here. What if we don't want this card in here? Let's see 
if we can take it out. And we'll use remove object to do that. So let me click on remove object. Now we need to select this card. So what I'm going to do is for brush settings, click the drop down. I'll click on object selection. And what I want to do is just hover over this card like this and select it. And now we're going to click on the drop down and get the regular brush. And what I'll do is just paint right over here. And I think that's okay there. Maybe I'll just paint right along here. I'll paint this little area right here. And now I'll click remove and I won't make you wait and we'll see what kind of result we get. And here is the final result. I think it looks pretty good. Let's click the eye. This is before, this is after. I like how it extended this plant up here a little bit. And I think it looks pretty good. It looks believable to me. And now all we have to do is click on save changes. And there we go. And again, we could click export image save and we'd be done well there you go i wanted to revisit the remove object tool inside of topaz photo ai now that i have my new computer and i think it's doing a really good job hey let me know in the comment section below what kind of a job it's doing for you do you use it and do you think it's beneficial to your workflow well there it is everyone i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you did please give it a like share it with your friends and if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel please subscribe click that bell notification icon click all so that you'll receive all notifications and then every time i upload a new tutorial you'll get notified about it i want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with dave gully i'll see you all right here next time but until then Happy editing.